I got a quick multivariable limit that I wanna work through today. And that's the limit as x and y go to zero, zero of the function x to the fourth plus y to the fourth over x squared plus y squared. And you could see a hint in the title, we're gonna use the squeeze theorem. So try it on your own and let me know if you could solve it. Okay, so the first thing to notice is that x to the fourth and y to the fourth are both non-negative, meaning they're greater than or equal to zero. So we have a lower bound for our function, right? Zero is less than or equal to x to the fourth plus y to the fourth over x squared plus y squared. But now the challenge is gonna be, we need to find an upper bound whose limit is easy to evaluate and hopefully that limit will be zero. So x to the fourth plus y to the fourth, well that looks a lot like x squared plus y squared squared, right? x to the fourth plus y to the fourth is less than or equal to x to the fourth plus two x squared y squared plus y to the fourth, right? Because x squared and y squared are both non-negative. And that right-hand side is equal to x squared plus y squared, all squared. Okay, so now we have our, our lower bound is zero. Our inside function, which we're trying to evalu evaluate the limit of, that stays the same. And our upper bound is x squared plus y squared squared, all over the denominator we had in our original function. But we could cancel out some terms since we're evaluating a limit. And now this right-hand side is just a polynomial and we could evaluate the limit of polynomials by just plugging in the values. Okay, so the limit as x and y goes to zero of the function zero is just equal to zero. The limit as x and y go to zero of the function x squared plus y squared, well, we just plug in zero, so it's also zero. So by the squeeze theorem, since our function is between those two functions, we know the limit as x and y goes to zero of the function x to the fourth plus y to the fourth over x squared plus y squared is equal to zero. Not too bad, right? Squeeze theorem is very useful. Well, let me know in the comments if you like this video. Thanks for watching.